Hello everybody, this is Sam of BIMSO International. Thank you for watching the Quality Control Solutions for Archimedica powered by EBA. As an ISP of Archimedica, we are developing various of solutions for quality control. We have demonstrated the vendor approval solution last week. And today, I will show you the stock item approval solution. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can add a new stock item through EVA to Archimedica. Before we start, this is the flow of this solution. Once the form sent out from the creator, the purchase manager will be asked to review and approve the form. After having the approval, the form will then sent to the lab technician and to the lab manager eventually. After granting all the approval needed, the form will go back to the creator and get saved into Archimedica. Let's get started. After logging into EBA application, I'm going to show you a fully digitized form of adding a new stock item. I will now show an example through the flow and show how the form can be done and get saved. With the amazing customized method of EBA, all the required fields with an abstract have to be filled. Otherwise, a notification will pop up as a reminder. Besides, there is another restriction for the inventory ID, as its maximum length can only has 10 letters. And when we get to the item detail category, we can choose the item class from Archimedica item class list. The rest of the fields will be filled automatically based on your selection. The same function performed in the vendor details category too. Once the vendor ID is selected, the rest will be filled automatically. At last, we can attach any documents or files to this form. From here, we can choose what categorize of the file we are attaching. For this example, we'll make a choice between specification or other. You are able to upload the file from your local computer, regardless the type of your file. When all is done and confirmed, we can hit send. From the flow history, you will see the form is awaiting for approval of the purchase manager, Janet. Now we log in as Janet, we can see our form awaiting approval. We can click on it and get a quick access to the form. At the bottom, the approvals list shows us who sent the form. We can also check out the department they are from, the type of action they want, and the date they request it. Once all is revealed and checked, we can approve it and move on. The next step is sending the form to the lab technician, Rayleigh. Logged in as Rayleigh, we can see everything we have previously seen on the form as well as Janet's approval. In this example, just a review and approval are needed. But EBA also providing the function that the form could only pass through with the certification from the laboratory after certain tests. Once approved, it goes to the lab manager, Michael, for a final review. The same process as previous. The form will then send back to the creator after approval. Now everything has been revealed and approved. We can now send the form to Archimedica. We can now check if everything went through on Archimedica's side. Here it is. We can see that it successfully went through and if we click on it, we can see all the information that we add in EBA. We can also see the file attached here. It's come to the end of this video. Please leave us a thumb up. You are more than welcome to visit and subscribe our official YouTube channel or contact us directly to schedule a free demonstration session of EBA. Thank you for watching. This is Sam of BIMSER International.